Good afternoon, everybody. We are back. 40 degrees. Still gloomy, still cloudy, still nasty out today. We've got Claybro first in the chat. F R R S T B B. Very nice. Dark Bro might be second in the chat. I don't know. Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Chris, 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 Frank, John J, Pat, Pat, Dark Bro, John J, Dark Bro, John J, John J, Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Pat, Dark Bro, 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 Dark
Bro Clay, talk about our coin season with Bitcoin is 25,000 10 days ago. Matic was $1.55, now Matic is $1.20, Bitcoin is 27,000. Explain, please. Absolutely. The reason that Bitcoin, I believe, okay, so anytime you have reasoning for moves like this, it, it usually falls on the person who is making the speculation, right? There's nobody that actually comes out and says, this is why Bitcoin is moving. This is why an altcoin is moving. And, and even the news articles, right? They just have somebody writing something to try and justify the movement. It is most adequately justified by saying people are buying Bitcoin and that's why it's going up. I mean, that's a boring answer because people want to know then why are they buying Bitcoin? And the answer that I can come up with is that right now, Bitcoin is moving higher because the banking industry is on the brink of collapse. Banks are down 20, 30, 40% per day. We're talking 70, 80% declines in the price of major banks across the globe just over the last week. Some banks like Silvergate, Signature Bank, and Silicon Valley Bank have already collapsed. They've shut shop. And, and because of that, and Bitcoin soaring out gaining the other altcoins, I believe it's due to the fact that people are viewing Bitcoin as a as a safe haven. Bitcoin is the largest, it is the most well known, it is the original cryptocurrency, and people are flocking to Bitcoin right now as an alternative to banks. There's to me, it's very hard to justify another reason than that right there. If you start looking at interest rates and, and the inflation rate coming down, okay, but we're not necessarily seeing improvement in other stocks. It is it is Bitcoin that is driving the gains right now. And uh, I believe it's because it's being viewed as a safe haven as opposed to just an investment. So that's my justification for why Bitcoin is moving. So you're probably not told this enough, but the entertainment and knowledge you provide each market day is appreciated. Thank you, sir. Johnson Town, thank you very much, man. You, you know, uh, I, I do appreciate the positive feedback. I, I really do, man. Because, you know, you read through some of the comments sometimes, and not necessarily the people that hang out in the live stream, but people that leave comments on the video, ah, dude, they love to troll. So I really appreciate that, Johnson Town. The positive feedback is incredible and not necessarily one of the things that keeps me going. Because if I, you know, only got my motivation from you guys giving me positive feedback, I would be extremely volatile in my emotions. Some days would be great, and some days I would be depressed. So I'm not that manic depressive type of bipolar. Uh, I'm going to continue doing it regardless, but I absolutely appreciate all of the positive feedback. Johnson Town, thank you very much, man. We got Moji saving lives today. Came in to smash that like button. You can too. I highly expect an ad for the non clickers when I watch Play Bro later. Moji, if you're coming in later, you are going to get that ad, my friend. Welcome to the club, J Bone. Swing trade it. Use Adam Aaron like he used us. And he used us pretty hard, man. Pretty hard. Ah, uh, yelled. That's why banks are done. Banks are done because you yelled? Oh, man, that's kind of crazy. Although, I am partial to the English. Well, my wife lives uh, the Scots. I have no idea what's taking place right now. What do you think this is? Uh, what do you think? Is the bear market done? For crypto? No. Mm -mm. I don't think it's done yet. So, here's my biggest drawback, okay? If, if I'm correct, in stating that Bitcoin is being viewed as a safe haven and, and it is surpassing and um, outperforming the monetary system. Dude, the kings and queens of the world, aka the presidents and, and Congress and senators, are going to say, oh no, Bitcoin is way too threatening. It is a better system than we have. Let's kill it. And they're going to try to kill it, dude. They might they might just outright ban it. So I don't think that the bear market is necessarily over. We've just got a nice rally going on right now because people are starting to view it for what it really is. Let's see. Bitcoin shining, doing what it does. Absolutely. So now, officially from the Pentagon themselves, they believe an alien mothership is in our solar system. I'll tell you right now, if I live to see aliens, then my life is complete. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all I gotta say. I lay it down and close my eyes and boom! Seizure starts. Dang, Pudgy. Hopefully you're alright, man. J Bones! 21 months of bro. FAA, the federal. <laughs> what is the AVA? Is it Aviation Association? I don't even know what it means. I know what you mean, J Bones, but I was trying to spin it. Somebody help me real quick on that 21 month member jet. J Bones, dude, thank you very much for keeping that green name for 21 months. And the shout out to the FAA out there. Bro, I appreciate it. But when you when will we see new all-time highs with Medic and Solana, which are about 20% away from their all-time highs in January and February? Well, you know what, Ryan? I don't know when we're going to see all-time highs. Uh, Ryan, my best guess, dude, I really don't know. The next bull market is, is when things are going to be in full swing. I really do believe that we're going to have to get through this banking crisis, whether or not it is orchestrated in order to kill crypto or not. Um, and then we're going to have to get through the regulation. So I don't think that we necessarily see a soaring in cryptocurrency just yet. I was thinking about it this morning. And, and I truly do think that if the banking system began to collapse and, and the government tried its best, you know, printing and, and I guess allocating trillions of dollars to the banking system, that's going to be a rude wake up call for everybody. And I think that Bitcoin could begin to soar on news like that. If the banking systems across the globe went belly up. I don't doubt that we could see Bitcoin at $100,000. I do not doubt that. And, and that could happen very quickly. That could happen in a month period. We, we could be sitting here in April and Bitcoin's trading at $100,000 because banks have failed. Now, here's the thing. I really highly doubt that they would allow that to happen. If, if that does happen, Bitcoin has replaced financial systems across the globe so i think it before we would even ever get there they would just destroy bitcoin if it was replacing the global monetary system so uh it's very tough for me to say man it's very tough for me to say we are living in very sensitive times right now where if bitcoin was going to meet its true potential dude we could be re replacing fiat if uh, if it does try to reach its potential, I believe they're going to try and tear it down, man. So that, that's kind of, uh, I'm at a standstill, almost like a stalemate in chess, dude. I'm sitting there wondering if there really is a next move. Let's get started. Hey, man, this dot's on Bitcoin's run. When do you see the altcoins? We'll start seeing some price action. JC, meet Ryan. Ryan, JC. Uh, JC, Ryan might explain to you exactly everything that I just explained answering that exact same question. Uh, I think that the altcoins are going to come back during the bull market. Right now, I believe Bitcoin is rising the way that it is because it's being viewed as a safe haven. Now, that may be incorrect. That is my pers that, that is my perspective and my point of view on it. So, um, I don't think that the alts are going to follow the same as Bitcoin does until the bull market and the confidence returns and all of that. I think what we see in Bitcoin right now is confidence in Bitcoin, not necessarily crypto. Hero, check out Loop Network. Heck yeah, Aaron, go brag. Ireland forever. All right. Well, thank you very much for the explanation, Pat. Still have no idea. Federal Aviation Administration. Administration. J-Bones. Thank you very much. Yes, it's J-Bones, dude. Or it's administration, not association. I like it. Look, we'll be at 25 cents by the end of summer 2023. Rosie, if that's the case, dude, we're all going to be filthy rich if that's the case. Rosie could be correct if the dollar dies. I mean, there's no other way around that. Razi could be correct if the dollar ties. Let's see. Why aren't we seeing more price action with SHIB? Every, all of the money and all of the price action in crypto right now is really focused on Bitcoin. Bitcoin doesn't typically outperform altcoins. Altcoins typically outperform Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a massive market cap. And if it's moving up, the altcoins, Shiba Inu coin, so on, are moving up as well at a greater pace because they have lower market caps.
So uh, what we're seeing right now is a major, major concentration on Bitcoin. And that's why Shiba, Terra Luna Classic, you know, you name your altcoin, I don't care, is not necessarily gaining as much traction as Bitcoin is. I honestly think we're good in crypto. It's a global market and all the big money is seeking safe haven in Bitcoin. A lot of eyes are recognizing they can't trust no one. DeFi is the way. Yeah, Tony D, man. I, I'm, I'm in accordance with you, man. I agree with that. Good afternoon to you, Nick F. Glad to have you in here right now. We the people of the United States want crypto. Let's go. Yeah, we do want crypto, man, but I, I really don't know if the officials want crypto. Bitcoin ticking back up right now. Bitcoin about to break that 26.9. Let's get started. Guys, if it does, we might actually see Bitcoin touching 28, 29, 30 if this green candle is able to break that blue line right there. It's a banking crisis, then a measles outbreak, then oil rigs will blow up, Russia will do some dumb stuff. All the time, the U.S. government is going to print more money and then they're not even gonna give it to they're, they're not even gonna use it here man they're, they're gonna send it to you they're gonna send it overseas i don't even know what you're allowed to say on youtube you guys are smart though just came in to hit the like button number 15 we got a family in town love y'all be safe d's man enjoy the family thank you very much for being in here enjoy your weekend as well since you got to take off early absolutely appreciate you coming in here dude just to smash the like button and say what's up Fuebro, a.k.a. Fredo, a.k.a. Michael, because you're Fredo, Ryan. You're always on point with crypto. You can fumble the gun when they shoot Don Corleone, but you never fumble your expert analysis. Miss the super chat, though. <laughs> I did not miss a super chat, man. I will never miss a super chat, and you know I will never miss a super chat. I might fumble the super chat, but I never fumble the gun. I don't even know if you're allowed to say gun on YouTube, man. Oh, gosh. Ryan, I thank you very much. I thank you very much for my so-called expert analysis. Appreciate you being in here, and I appreciate this super chat the way that you send it every single time, man. And don't forget the murder hornet. Oh, man. Murder hornets. Dude, I hate regular hornets. Don't get me started on murder hornets. Murder hornets are like the size of a dang bird. I don't want to think about those guys. You don't need me as president. But we want you, Rozzy. But we want you. There's a difference in what we need and a difference in what we want. When 20 more banks crumble, it's helping crypto. John Jay, you are correct, but it is certainly not helping the U.S. dollar, and it is certainly not helping the stock market, and it will certainly not help the job market, and uh, it could cause a lot of, of downside activity, dude. It, on one hand, people are like, burn, 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 burn. They want to see the banks burn, right? Because crypto is going up, 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 up. But on the other hand, it's like, oh, crap, oh, crap. Like, like, what are we going to do? We would have to move over at that point to a crypto society. And I really don't think, like, I can tell you right now, my grandpa's not ready for that. My grandpa's not ready to transact in Bitcoin. So there would be a lot of people that would be left behind in a situation where banks do burn. Look at this blue line is about to be broken. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to see cryptocurrency Take off if Bitcoin is able to break that line right there. Keep our eyes on it and let's see what happens. It's testing it right now. That green line is, or that blue line is going to be a big one, man. Dude, Bitcoin hitting 30,000 this week. Going to listen to Yellen. Uh, Yellen I listened to Yellen's presser. It was terrible. All the big money is going to pull out of banks. Tony D, man, listen. I don't understand. In, in, it might be different, okay? I don't understand these people in their press conferences. Um, they, they really are bad. They really are bad at them. And I don't know if I could do any better of a job. I don't really know what they're allowed to say and, and, and all of that, man. They, they, I really don't know. I don't have the answer to it. But I do know that they are bad. So... It's tough for me to say that big big money or institutions would pull out of banks and move over to crypto. If they do, we're going to be living in a different world. There's, there's no denying that. We're going to be living in a different world if they do decide to pull out of banks and go into crypto. I don't think that they're ready for it. Make about 15.9 Bitcoin. Oh, so tasty. Tasty. 
as French toast. Wasn't talking to you, Razzie. I would make uh, make Trump look like a child with freedom of speech. There you go, man. I think that's good. Clear, bro. Loop got you side. You got sidetracked. Yeah, loop, man. I never get. I didn't get sidetracked. You guys think I get sidetracked? I didn't get sidetracked. I didn't. I don't get. Is it Loop X Network or just Loop Network? I, I don't ever get sidetracked. I just go on to the next chat and then forget to go back to that one. It's never sidetracked, though. Patrick, thank you very much for this super chat. Michael, your super chat swims with the fishes. It swims with the fist bumped fishes, baby. Thank you very much for the super chat and the authorized fishy hydration. Loving it, Patrick. Thank you very much for that super chat. When do you see Bitcoin going to 40000 next month? Uh, Ryan, it kind of goes with what I was saying. I think that Bitcoin could hit 40000 next month. Absolutely. But I think that Bitcoin could only hit 40000 next month if banks continue to die. I don't think this rally is because people are returning to risk on assets. I don't think this rally is because the market is confident. I don't think this rally is because people are seeing an improving economy. I think that this rally is because banks are failing. So if banks continue to fail or if more big banks die, then yes. Uh, let's see. Click Corleone has a nice ring to it. That it does, man. That it does. What's going on with Sheep Drama? ID Chain saying it was stolen. I really don't understand. JC, remind me again in a second. I'm going to try to get to these two uh, super, super, super chats right here. Claire, appreciate you going over ENVX1J. I did some research on my own. I picked some up today. Thanks for what you do, man. J Bones, you're the man. Absolutely appreciate it. And, and look, I, you know, if we want to look at it again and again and again, we can. I know it was like a very, very quick looking into it just pointing some stuff out and the best part about that comment right there j bones is that you looked at it yourself you felt confident in buying some and you made that decision boom baby that is what i love to see don't ever buy something because i say banks are failing bitcoin is rising let's get started or something like that you know you can say Banks are failing. Bitcoin is rising. Let's get started. And then you're going to be good to go. Michael! Pfft. Charts. Banks. Stonks. Crypto. Nobody cares. Fist bump. Fist bump. Fist bump. Fist bump, baby. Michael Allen! Thank you very much, Michael, for the super chat. Loving that one, man. Ryan, I like it too. Bad to be my super chats are immune to the fishes. Sharks are immune to your sardines, Pat. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what that means, Ryan, but I like it. Sharks are immune to sardines, baby. Is that like a quote, or did you just make that up? <laughs> oh, let's go, man. No more income, period. No, 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 I want income, dude. I want income. I don't want to, I don't want to go on universal income or whatever rosie has got going on down there. Loop Network, ladies and gentlemen, up 28% today. It is a blank market cap coin, $10 million fully diluted coin. It is Ceretic audited, so I do like that. Let's see. It, it, well, here's what I like, man. This coin has been out since March, at least on coin market cap, March of 2022. And I mean, it's continued to hit higher highs. So I can't really complain about this coin right here. Very low, I would say, overall volume. And very strange that it doesn't show us the circulating supply. But, uh, you know, good news that it keeps tapping these highs. Here's my thing, Dark Bro. If you aren't buying Loop Network here, um, I don't know where you would have gotten in. If you would have gotten in yesterday at three cents and you've already run it, run it up to five cents, there is a chance that it touches like close to seven cents and hits a new all time high here. But based on this pattern, I would almost guarantee, you know, up, major dip, up, major dip, up, major dip, up. What would you expect next? major dip so i would be very careful if you're on this and you're in some profits do not let it come back down to two three cents on you and and then have to wait for the next rally take some profit dude like the, if this pattern continues to repeat itself which it has like four times over the last year take advantage of this rally right here hit the high and then buy back in on the dip after you take some profit 
It's not financial advice, right? That's me looking at the chart and saying, follow the pattern that's on the chart and, and don't fall in love with that coin. Unless of course you fall in love with being able to recognize patterns and, and you hit that one perfectly. Let's see, banks equal higher risk than crypto. Isn't that crazy, Tim? They really are higher risk than crypto right now. Man, I'm always late, as late as always. Slayer JC, better late than never, man. Glad to have you in here. Razi, so I worked my butt off 27 years in the trades to make money. So burger flipper, no taxes, me taxes. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. <sighs> yeah. I'll pay your taxes. That's not what I'm saying. Don't do it too. But uh, just you're, you're gonna be good, man. You're gonna be good. Uh, income tax, I meant. I think good, Rossi. I missed part of the conversation there, so hopefully you're good. Uh, people were asking Yellen, are you not guaranteeing depositors? She says correct. We are not going to cover medium-sized bank depositors if they fail. So I interpret that as big depositors will pull out. Yeah, Tony D. Big depositors may pull out of medium-sized banks, but here's the thing. When you look at uh, what is the Silicon Valley Bank, they are literally guaranteeing those those giant depositors. They're saying not just the FDIC insurance amount up to two hundred fifty thousand. They are guaranteeing every deposit in that bank. You might see a just destruction of small and medium sized banks. And everybody moving in to a giant monopoly of J.P. Morgan, you know, Chase, Bank of America, the huge names that are out there and a, a killing off of the little banks. Who, who's in whose pocket at that point? Do the banks own the government or do the government own the banks? It's a sticky situation, man. If we kill off all the little guys... And we've only got a couple big ones that are guaranteed by the gov by the ma by the government, not the mafia. Well, what's the difference? Um, you know, I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine. Watch out for it, Michael. Thank you very much for the super chat. I forgot other things people care about. Pika, I like it, Michael. I like it. Thanks, Michael. Heck yeah, Pika. I love it. Major dip. I'm not getting into it yet, but I'm waiting for the dip again, and then I'll get some. Dark bro, recognizing a pattern right there on loop, guys. Razi, how about tax under 50,000 to motivate them to do better? Ooh, tax you under 50, tax in the low guy, motivating you to make more money. That would actually be interesting, man. I would, I would take like six side hustles. If I knew that I wasn't going to get taxed if I reached a certain level of income, ah, dude, yeah. I like to sleep, okay? I, I enjoy getting some rest, but I'm telling you, dude, if you if you could get above a certain threshold and then you didn't have to pay taxes anymore, <laughs> ah, I love it, Tim, but I would still be okay with that increasing the sales tax. Right, no income tax whatsoever, but that consumption tax that they talk about, I don't think that that would be bad. I really don't. I think that would be good. Let's see. What do you think about Saucer Swap? Sauce Toad, Sauce Defy Dex, built on Hedera, uh, Hedera Network. Can you do a video on Saucer Swap? They started liquidity bearing for H bar and Chainlink. CYI, very, very highly unlikely that I'm going to be able to do a video on Saucer Swap, uh, only because I don't know anything about it. And, um, I mean, it sounds like you would probably be better at doing a video on it than I would because you, you really do know more. So I, I highly doubt that I'm going to be able to do a video on it, but we'd see if I could pull it up on CoinMarketCap here. Sauce token. Let's look it up, man. I like sauce. You like sauce? Sauce. I think this is the one you're talking about. We'll look at that in two seconds. After I say, I'm Gen X, though. Whole negative reinforcement is close to my heart. Yeah, Gen X, though. I don't know, man. Negative reinforcement, okay, good. But I think it's positive reinforcement right there. If you're, if you're if they don't have to pay taxes above a certain level, I think it's positive reinforcement. And you're giving them a good thing if they reach a, a milestone. Let's see. Tim, some of the people with family making under 50000 is very difficult to run a household. But I get what you're saying. Heck yeah, bro, Clay, a.k.a. Fred. Bro, Clay, a.k.a. Fred. He succeeded in bringing me, to two, bringing me the $2 million smuggled from Lake Tahoe to Cuba. But when I asked if you knew Johnny Ola or Hyman Roth, you said no when you lied. Fredo, take this salt. <laughs> what does that mean? I didn't lie to you, Ryan, and I would never do so. 
I would never lie to you about anything in my life, especially not knowing Johnny, because I can tell you with certainty I have no idea who Johnny Ola or Hyman Roth are. I don't know those guys. I've never heard of those guys. I've never seen those guys in my life. <laughs> right, man. Thank you very much. Government calls it nationalization of banks. Yeah, dude, they can call it whatever they want, but it's still a bad idea. The current big banking system is the definition of fascism. Small f, okay, there you go. Pu Public-private partnerships are always detrimental to free markets. That they are. I'm curious how high they're raising interest rates next week. Yeah, Tony D, I would expect just a 25 or 50 basis point hike next week. I, I wouldn't think anything ridiculous. I'm still thinking it's going to be 25. Bro, Clay, you considered doing a video on Kadena. Best technology out there. I, I'm, I will consider it, dude, but it's like... It is very difficult to shift focus. Uh, I will say that. I'm all about people making, having more money. More money in people's pockets help the economy, but not free money. Like, the, oh yeah, dude, those checks there. That stuff was crazy, man. That stuff was crazy, Rosie. And, and that stuff, when you don't work for it like that, you just go spend it on cryptocurrency and, and penny stocks and stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that stuff was, I don't know if they thought that through. I just don't, I really don't know if they thought all that through. I think they wanted to look like heroes and, and instead of thinking out and determining the the repercussions of that. Saucer swap, ladies and gentlemen. I've never heard of this coin in my life. It's a little alien looking coin right here. But saucer swap sitting on a $7 million market cap. That's a pretty big market cap. It has probably not been out for a while. Uh, it's actually been out since September of 2022. So it has been out for a while. And it is hitting basically new all time lows here. It has been in a very tight range since October, been out roughly five, six months. Only going back and forth between three cents and two cents. So if these people don't like, you know, sell off or if they're not coming in here trying to get people to buy into into the coin so that they can sell off and, and use you guys as liquidity, you know, you might be you might see this coin bounce back and forth between two and three cents and two cents to three cents, dude, that's a 50% gain. So I don't know if you want to play that coin for 50% gain after 50% gain after 50% gain. But it is a possibility if you guys like that. Credit cards need to be ended as soon as possible. You know, I was wondering about that. I've been to some other countries, and I really... Uh, the credit system is kind of weird. I thought about that before. You know, it, it's almost like these other countries are extremely poor. And buildings are deteriorating. There doesn't seem to be any real business being built there. And... I wondered about that because if you gave these people money to start some businesses, everybody always needs that injection to start their business. What's better? You know, living a life without credit or living in the United States where everything is built on debt. You know, how many people have something nice, but it's not paid for? How many people have something nice and, and they've dug themselves into a 40-year hole that they're getting out of. So uh, the credit system is kind of weird, Rosie, and, and it's a strange one. You know, the United States is one of the wealthiest in the world with $30 trillion in debt, though we're never going to get out of that debt. I mean, it's, it's fake wealth when you really think about it. So, yeah, dude, I, I don't know. Credit... Credit makes the creditors very, very rich, but it makes the debtors. I don't know if they'll ever get out. Let's see. Been out of the loop for a bit as AMC squeezed on this table. And what should I do with these ape shares that are barely worth a dollar? Jimmy the Freak, man. Oh, gosh. I'm going to say no. The squeeze is not on the table if Adam Aaron gets his way. I truly believe that, they, that Adam Aaron will kill the squeeze if he has not done so already. I believe it's dangling by a thread right now. And that thread is that Delaware court determining whether or not the, this class action lawsuit has has some meat to it. If he stops the conversion of Ape, okay. I, I think it's okay. I, I think that the squeeze is possibly still on. But, dude, if we look at it for what it is, Adam Aaron has sold hundreds of millions of shares of Ape to the hedge funds. If they can convert that into AMC... And they are only short 100 million shares of AMC. 
they will have more than they ever needed to cover the shares of AMC. So you can't squeeze them if they already have what they need. You understand what I'm saying? Like We cannot squeeze them if they already have what they need. Real quick, can you look at share stake finance and coin market cap? Yeah, drop 20%, rises 20% yesterday. Yes, like let's take a look at uh, shared stake. Oh, I forget what the ticker is on that. I'll just type it in. We'll find out. There it is. Sergeant SGT. 96.93 cents. It is down 5.18% on the day today. My goodness, dude. It, it was up from 90 cents to over a buck 20 and right back down to 94 cents. This is that extremely low market cap coin. This is the one that had some wild action yeah, over the last couple of months here. Going from 008 150 xing up to a buck 50. I'll tell you this, dude. If this wild coin goes back down to a cent, ugh, I wouldn't mind getting in. It, it, it was dead for a year, okay? It was dead for a year and didn't do anything at all. You guys can see this, right? It was dead for a year. But if you would have bought in at any of these levels down here, you 150 extra money in a very brief period of time. So lottery ticket play, not a ton of money. You're not going to be able to go out and make a million dollars because the market cap's only 140 grand. But dude, you go grab $5 worth and you make 500 bucks on the next rally. You know, you, you grab $10 worth and and you make a couple thousand bucks. Like, you know, that stuff's possible. So that's a little lottery ticket play. I, I That coin is very volatile. It's very risky. I would not recommend anybody actually invest in that. But if you want to gamble in that, uh, I, I don't think that that's like a, a misappropriation of the correct term to use. I think something like that is a true gamble. I can't stop you guys from gambling. Let's see. Coming back down to the chat. Sorry if I missed it, guys. Uh, let's see. Good afternoon, Clay. Good afternoon, Mina. $3 billion have been printed. Credit default swaps. The swaps, the swaps reached historical numbers today. Maybe we can see good prices now, but big recession is coming on the way. Mina, I'm telling you, man. I, I do not doubt that we could not only see major recessions similar to 2008. Dude, 2008 like I remember it 2008 I was I was in college in 2008 and, and it's not something that I forget uh, it was a different time obviously in my life you know you're in college it's it's not the same as being 33 years old but 2008 the world still seemed kind of normal you know what I mean like right now the world seems like it has lost its actual mind so I do wonder if we start to inch towards a recession, if it wouldn't just deteriorate into the greatest depression that we have seen. Uh, it's, a, it's a different time, dude. We're living in a different time now than we certainly were in 2008. So I, I don't doubt that you are correct, man. At American, squeeze my peanuts. Dude, if you want somebody to crack your nuts, man, buy a nutcracker. Don't let Adam Aaron anywhere near those things. When you have by far the most powerful military in the world, the U.S. can do as they please. That can serve its creditors. Dude, I agree. I don't think it's right, but I do. I mean, I, I, I not right in the sense I think you are correct. Um, but I don't think it's morally right, but I, I think you're you're correct there. It's also assuming that they have no shorts on ape. Uh, no, Boomstick, that's not, I, that's not assuming that. Uh, I'm under the assumption that they're, they're short 100 million shares on AMC, and they're also short 100 million shares on ape, the same that they were short on AMC when, when the dividend was there. Because if they were short that, they, they still owed those shares of AMC. So I'm of the assumption, right, that they are only short the number of shares that that are reported as being short there could be nakeds there could be synthetics all of that stuff but i have to base my decisions and my like investments and stuff on numbers that can be verified so I, i'm of the assumption that it's basically 100 million short, short shares of ape and 100 million short shares of amc 
but Adam Aaron already sold them an additional 200 million shares of of, of Ape. So, you know, you would have every share, the 100 million, the, the additional 200 million that he sold in Ape covers the 100 million in Ape, and it covers the 100 million in AMC if they convert back. Not only on that, there would be 150 million shares of AMC outstanding at that point, and he can dilute you with another 300 to 350 million shares of of amc so it, it would just be a, a dilution massacre over the next couple of years and he would go down as the hero rock star and we would go down as the fools who funded his games oh let's see 2008 i was painting at the naval academy for a sleazeball paying wages because you couldn't buy a job yeah tony you know the the good thing about 2008 for me because you're right uh i wasn't necessarily looking for a job Right, I was in college, you know, doing the lifeguarding and stuff like that, and tutoring and all of that. Man, it wasn't like I was getting ready to to go look for a job. But 2010 comes around, man, and you're getting ready to graduate, try some law school, all that stuff. Luckily, things were better <clears throat> a little bit, you know, after that period, after a couple years had taken place. But yeah, dude. I remember you could put out 50 job applications and literally not even get a call back. And uh, that's what a lot of people were, were experiencing. It was crazy, dude. It, it, was, it was crazy. So that's different from what we got going on right now. But, I mean, dude, if the banks don't have any money, the companies aren't going to have any money to pay any people, and there's not going to be any jobs available. Ryan, he comes in again with another super chat. Ryan, I thank you very much. Bro Clay, aka my bro, uh, bro Clay, aka my bro Fredo. I'm a 2.5x on SGT. If it drops below a cent, I'll let you know. Do you think 1,000 at one cent or below would be a decent play? Uh, Ryan, if you're talking about a thousand dollars, I don't think that you're gonna actually gonna be able to buy that much. If you're talking about a thousand coins, okay, yeah, I think you can. Buy that. I think that's fine. Um, if you're talking about a thousand dollars, though. I highly doubt that you'd be able to buy that much because at a cent, right? If you if you bought a thousand dollars worth, and it goes back up to where it is right now, which is a hundred thousand dollar market cap, you would literally be funding the like that entire coin at that point. So I don't think that you would be able to get a thousand dollars worth at that point. Thousand coins, sure, man, because you're not necessarily going to affect the price. You, you might be looking at a thousand bucks, fifteen hundred bucks if it ever comes back up to the prices it's at right now. But you can't actually expect to to make like you can't expect to buy a thousand dollars of a coin that's got a thousand dollar market cap. You know, who else is gonna be able to buy it at that point? SSDD, one side of the double headed Phoenix versus the other side. Pfft, Crypto McDuck, I am lost. FAA, the Federal Administr the Federal Aviation Administration, J Bones. Ah, uh, let's see, Tony D, you are a man of the character. Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, be proud to play you. <laughs> I like it, man, I like it. Ah, uh, let's see, Razia, man, I'd grab my bones to dust to provide for my family. Oh, crap, I already have. We got old Dusty Bones over here. I like it. Tim, I'm gonna start calling you Dusty Bones, man. Ah, uh, you still want to charge, you still want to charge them high taxes. I don't want to charge anybody I want. I want low taxes. I want low taxes. Hey, Clay, bro. Can you look at Crypto GPT and Paul Swap, please? And thanks. Yes, let's look at Paul Swap first because I want to see Paul Swap. I want to look at Crypto GPT is afterwards. Let's see. Crypto Paul Swap. All right. 5056. It is up 14.41% on the day. Not doing too much, actually. We looked at it in the earlier live stream. And it was at 4,900. So it's at 50 right now. Uh, basically, no move whatsoever on the day when we looked at it earlier. And a uh, 50% loss from where it was at its all-time highs, but still basically a 20x gain from where it was last month. Paul Swap, interesting, guys. This is the old-school Shiba Inu coin team, the one that has been fired from the Shiba Inu coin ecosystem team and the one that's causing all of the FUD in the Shiba Inu coin ecosystem because apparently you're not allowed to invest in anything other than Bone, Leash, and Shiboshis and Metaverse Lands. It's all you're allowed to invest in. What did he say the other one was? CryptoGPT. 
Crypto GPT. I have no idea what this coin is right here. Crypto GPT has been out for a week, ladies and gentlemen. This is a beautiful one week graph right here. I like this, okay? But keep in mind, Bitcoin over the last week has been doing very well. So this coin came out at a very nice time. Bitcoin has been hitting, you know, recent highs because of the banking crisis. And this coin coming out has also been hitting recent highs. One of the reasons it could be doing so is the fact that the Ethereum in the liquidity pool is gaining in value. So the fact that the Ethereum in the liquidity pool is gaining in value is going to help the coin gain value as well. So I, I have no idea what these guys do. Crypto GPT, uh, you know, whoever asked about that may know much more than I do. Please shed some light to the, the chat here. Absolutely. The more we know, the better off we are. But nonetheless, man, I, I, I don't know anything about that. It's just got a very nice one week graph. 2008, I started to lose my machine shop. Uh, it just uh, lost a bunch of jobs. Customers taking jobs back in house to keep their own workers working. Yeah, Tim, 2008 was crazy. Uh, let's see, I was working in back, I was working in banking, and then fell into logistics and trucking totally by accident. Life sure throws some curveballs. Dude, life really does throw a lot of curveballs, man. Screwballs, too. Fastballs, screwballs, knuckleballs, curveballs, goofballs. It even throws goofballs your way, man. You, you, you have to roll with the pitches on that one. With a sales background, since I also had to do sales side of the business. My gosh, Pep. SEC 8 EBT Utilities Assistance. Oh, Section 8, not SEC 8. Gotcha. Uh, where, are we at? where are we at? I think that Shitoshi is scared of the, mold or the old team because they know how he operates and provides real competition. Dark Pro, I agree. Also, I even wonder if the team knows who Shitoshi is. Yeah, you know, I picture Shitoshi kind of like Bosley in Charlie's Angels. I don't know if they even knew who Bosley was. You know that dude just, just comes over the speaker? And they answer, he's like, hello, angels. And he's like, they're like, hi, or whatever the dude's name was. You know what I'm talking about? And Charlie's name, like, he's just on the speaker, man. I really don't even know if these people know who Shitoshi is. And he, he might even use like a text-to-speech type of thing when he's talking to him because he might be 13 years old. We don't know. Al Pacino's the best. What's wrong with you? The greatest actor to play the greatest character, Michael Corleone. Fredo's brother. Yeah, man. Well, what's wrong with me? I got a lot wrong with me, dude. Jeez, that sounds like so far ago. 20, 20, 2008, I was celebrating my fourth year in banking finance. I am so old now. John Jay, dude. 2008, it does sound like a long, long time ago. But was it really? You know what I mean? Like, was it really? And when you try to put it in perspective like that, the gains and the progress we have seen since 2008, 2009 bottom have been insane. And if we just wait the same amount of time, what is that, 15 years? We're waiting until, I mean, 2038 sounds like a really long way away. 2038 seems like it's forever away. But dude, if you're sitting on like 100x gains across the board by 2038, you are set, man. You are set. So it, it is not, uh, I mean, don't take it lightly. You know, time does fly. And we're going to get to 2038 just as fast as we left 28 or 2008. All American Breakers, what's going on, man? Saucer swap, sauce token. Yeah, CYI, we looked at that a minute ago. Ryan, Animal Mother, C, Firebase Gloria, real. What is going on? Hira, did you see the snake video in the support Discord chat? It's Slytherin. I did not see the snake video, man. I don't want to see no snake video. I don't like. Ooh. That's getting a bird? Nah, dude. Nah, nah, nah. John Jay, you're 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 crazy, man. I don't want to see that. I don't like that at all. Uh, uh. Nope. Still, still in beta mode. Always beta. My bro Fredo is alpha compared to him. Bro Fredo is a man of focus. A man of. Oh, I gotta read it in my Michael Corleone. She though she's still in beta mode. Always beta. My bro Fredo is alpha compared to him. Bro Fredo is a man of focus. A man of will. I once saw him kill a two with a pencil, and I saw him kill three. Bro, Fredo, I know who Shitoshi is. He is Beta. 
Shintoshi, man. You, we, you guys are talking about simping or whatever that word is yesterday, the day before. Oh, yeah. You, you see Shintoshi, like, really trying to to hit on that one Indian girl in his, in his tweets over the last couple of days. Oh, my goodness. Dude, it's like, come on, man. Keep that stuff in your DMs or something. I, I thought that that was weird. And, Ryan, when I was reading his tweets this morning, I was thinking of you, dude. I was thinking of you. Um, I, I thought that that was so strange, man. It it's been, like, two or three tweets now that, that he's basically going after this girl. And I'm just like, dude, you are literally running a bill. Like, get your own Twitter account or use a different Twitter account. You're using a billion dollar Twitter account to hit on some girl. Like, what is this kid doing? It was very strange to me, and it did make me think of you, Ryan. Let's see. Real quick, I was talking to Tony Soprano. Tony Soprano, I like it. I think I like it. I don't know. I'm just about to have uh, the little guy because I have been in there with a struggle. If I am up, I want everyone up. Razi, I love it, dude. I want to bring everybody up, too. Everybody's got to build everybody up. No hate against Shiv, I hold. But why would anyone believe in Shibarium after the second blog medium? Shitoshi said that eternity wasn't profitable and that wellies didn't burn. Why would people believe? Uh, jewelry. So my best guess is that people are, uh, when they're filled with hope, they will believe anything. Okay. And in the, it's not just hope that the, the price goes up at this point. It's almost a, like an unnatural desire that the price of Shiba Inu coin goes up. I could come out tomorrow and I could say that uh, I'm I'm building a, a machine that when it rains outside, every raindrop is going to be a Shiba Inu coin that is being burned. And people will be like, oh, this is the great, like, if you can convince people that you are capable of it and they want it to happen, though that combination of those two things right there, man, will make people believe anything. So, uh, Jory, I don't know. I also own Shiba Inu coin, but I can't put my trust and my focus on any of these developers, man. Ah, oh, let's see here. Yeah, Dark Bro, man. Very strange activity from a billion dollar Twitter account. Let's see. My bro Fredo deserves an African rock python as a pet. I do not want a python as a pet. I got garter snakes in my backyard and I don't like them. I want a python as a pet. My goodness, my gracious. Guys, Bitcoin still unable to get killed off, man. Bitcoin sitting here at 26,800 on its way back up to retest that 26.9. One of two things is going to happen. We're going to close the live stream in five minutes, and it's either going to rip up through that 27,000, or it's going to bounce off for one final time and come back down. But it is insane the amount of strength that Bitcoin is seeing. I mean, let's look at a 30-minute chart here. Where's the dip? Where is the dip or on a 30 minute chart from $19,000? Look at this. Look at this hour chart here. Where was show me the dip. Show me a little pullback from $19,000 to where we are right here. It has been insane strength all along the way. I'm really surprised that it's been able to take out all of these lines with no real problems. And we just put this one on there today. We could be ripping back up. To, we could be on our way to 29 right now. Bitcoin is is literally relentless right now, and it's because banks are dying. Ryan says, "What do you mean you were thinking of me, Fredo? Why did you think of comparing Michael to Simpichitoshi? No, because you call him a beta. I was, th I was thinking about you because you call him a beta all the time." I wasn't thinking about you because I was comparing you to him. I was thinking about you because you call him beta. I was reading an, uh, I was reading an article on Bitcoin Heaven. and I was discussing the next event and also talking about lost wallets. Could you imagine losing your seed phrase to your Bitcoin wallet back in 2011? Yes, Tony D, I absolutely could. So I lost access to a Ravencoin wallet. It wasn't like it had a million dollars or anything in it, but... What if 10 years from now, you know, it had a decent amount, and it's not like it hold, had $5 in it either. Um, you know, what if a year, well, not a year, nah, not a year. What if the next bull market 
Raven coin sitting at twenty bucks. What if the what if the bull market in twenty thirty five, Raven coin sitting at a hundred dollars, dude? At that point, it would be the exact same thing as losing a seed phrase to a wallet you had from 2011, 12, 13 on Bitcoin, and, and you're sitting there. Uh, so yes, I I know exactly what it what it would be like, and it was tough. It was it was tough when I lost that that wallet then, and I'm sure that people are kicking themselves. Dude, you could probably start a decent business getting people's 2010, 11 laptops and and going through and trying to see if they have just any Bitcoin on those laptops. Just recycle them. You know what I mean? A laptop recycling business or whatever. And before you throw it in the trash, before you recycle it, you check the hard drive to see if it's got any Bitcoin. You could hit one jackpot and you'd be good for the rest of eternity. Ah, uh, let's see. Claro, what do you think about ending the IRS? Yeah, Razi, man. I am not a... I, I really don't care for the IRS. I don't think that they're a, a good thing at all. And I don't know if it would be sustainable or manageable. But the discussion of that consumption tax, right, where everybody would pay like a 25 30% sales tax, instead of paying their their income tax. I don't know what that would equate to. Obviously the people that, that benefit isn't isn't the rich people, it's not necessarily the poor people. Who that benefits are the conservative people. Those guys that aren't out there use spending their entire paycheck. Because if you make a quarter million dollars and you spend a quarter million dollars, you're in the same boat. If you make $10,000 and you spend $10,000, you're in the same boat as you would be with, uh, you, know, you know, with the federal income tax right there. So it is, it's very hard to say whether or not that would increase or decrease the amount of taxes that, that the government would be able to make. Um, but I, uh, I'm, I don't like paying income tax. I wouldn't like paying sales tax either. I just don't like paying any tax, man. So let's just get rid of taxes. Let's do that all like all together. Let's see, John Jay getting eighty pounds in the bo- with a bodybuilding program over nine years. Dang, dude, Ryan, that is that's a lot of weight, man. That's a lot of weight. Already told you who the real Shitoshi is. Nice, budgie. Mr. Brian, exactly. That's what the consumption tax is so beautiful. I'm a farmer. I grow raised food. Instead of my instead of my food going to the market, I keep it for myself. There you go, Tim. Hello, all. I guess I'm missing this one. Didn't sleep well. I just woke up from a nap. Dial up Survivor. It's all right. You checked in, and you're good to go for the weekend, John and Jay. Don't be besmirching, Clay. What the heck? I don't even know what besmirching is, man. That's a crazy word right there. Let's see. Iwana has more testosterone and is more masculine compared to Shitoshi. Dang, man. Shitoshi getting ripped on here. Show Shitoshi, if you're listening right now, dude, I'm sorry. Breaking news! State of Colorado just announced that they will accept Bitcoin for tax payments this year. I don't live in Colorado, but a decent tornado. I'll put my midget neighbor there by April. Nice, Johnston Town. Um, I think that they did that with property taxes here in Ohio before, but I, I don't know who would want to pay their, their property taxes in Bitcoin. Oh, let's see. Have an awesome weekend, bros. Yes, Pika. Guys, it is 5 o'clock right now. Bitcoin is going to retest this 26,900 level. Like I said, as we're signing off, it's either going to break through it or it's going to pull back from it. Get your names in the chat right now, guys. I hope that everybody has a great weekend. We're going to do some shout outs. We will be back with videos tonight at 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. Please watch them, share them, like them, all of that good stuff. Views are a little bit low right now, so don't feel bad watching it twice or at least watch and and click skip on that second ad there. Let's do these shout outs, guys. We're going to be coming back. J Bones, man. Rozzy, see you later. Patrick, see you later. Pudgy, peace out of the diamond handed grapes, baby. Dial up Survivor, Pika, see you later. Pudgy, Pudgy, diamond handed snakes. We've got Pudgy, Mr. Brian, Pudgy, Dial up Survivor, Tony D, Kai, see you later. Ryan, SD, J Bones, Tim, Mina. Ryan, I thank you very much. Bro, you missed my comment about false flag attacks by corrupt governments. I didn't see it, man. Maybe it didn't come through. I see why you sidestepped that, bro, Fredo. Let's have a drink sometime. 
Put in a daiquiri for you and a club soda for me. Ryan, man, enjoy your weekend. Thank you very much for the super chat, dude. Absolutely love it. You guys have a good one, man. Have some fun. Mina, see you later. Ryan, thank you very much. Whit Reed, see you later. Back to the future. Next level. MD, dial up survivor. John J, back to the future. Timo! With the green name. Angela Martis. Get a green name. Angela Martis with the green name from Tim. Angelo, if you're in the chat right now, throw a quick thank you out to Tim on that one. Everybody else, throw a shout out to Tim out there as we sign off on this one. I, I, uh, shout your name out for saying thanks to Tim. Appreciate you on that one, Tim. Absolutely, man. Enjoy the weekend. Angelo, shout out to you. Tim, see you, or Tony D, see you later. Johnstontown, good night to you. Enjoy your weekend. Jay Bones, man, thanks for the shout. Peace out, Clay. Peace out, Pat. Ryan, dial up. Love all around, guys. You know what time it is. You want to say Say it with me, George. Say it with me. Till the next time, each and every one of you, have an awesome day.